Hello everyone, welcome back to Petronix. Today I'm thrilled to showcase a powerful CRM sales management system built using Retool. Whether you are a sales manager looking to streamline your workflow or a developer searching for inspiration, this demo is for you. We'll walk through the key features and show you how it can revolutionize your sales processes. So let's dive right in and see what the CRM system can do. As you can see, we have the dashboard of the CRM sales management system, which indicates various KPIs of the features we have in our system. On the very top, we have the KPIs of the invoices, which indicates the daily invoices added, the weekly invoices which are being added, the monthly invoices and the invoices which are being added on a yearly basis. Moving forward, we have the leads uh, data as well. The leads indicates the today's leads, uh, the weekly leads, the monthly leads, and the leads which are being added on the yearly basis. Moving forward, we have the bar chart of the different leads statuses. Uh, as you can see, the orange one indicates the leads on the follow up. The green ones indicates the leads with whom the appointments has been scheduled and the blue ones indicates the new and untouched leads. On the menu panel, we have uh, various options uh, like leads, sales, appointments, sales team and general settings. So we'll just look into the leads option. As you can see in the leads option, we have the list of the leads added in our system. As per the IDs, their first names, their last names, their phone numbers, emails, the lead managers uh, are the managers who are managing those leads, the lead status, etc. The users can also modify the information with the respective leads uh, by just clicking on the modify action option. And a pop-up will appear with the information of the lead. The users can simply edit any information they want to add it and just simply click on the submit button and the information will be edited as per their requirements. The users can also filter in the information we have in the lists. The users can also sort out the tables. The users can also download the CSV files and the reports of the current leads we have in our system. To add a new lead, we'll just simply click on the add lead option and a pop-up with the form will appear. Uh, the user will simply add in the basic information which is required to add a lead and we'll just simply click on the submit button and a new lead will be added. Next we have the badge layout option in the lead section. For the badge layout, the badge layout basically indicates uh, different badges which are the on follow up badge the appointment scheduled leads and the new untouched leads and we have further categorized the leads as per their badges. Moving forward, we have the sales option which is further categorized into clients, deliverables and invoices. So we'll just look into the clients option. The clients basically indicates the list of the clients which are being added in our system as per their IDs, their names, their emails, phone numbers their Skype IDs, their company names, the notes we have added uh, against different clients, the tool name on which the client's projects are being built, etc. Against different clients, we just simply click on the modify option and a form will appear with the information of the existing client and the user will just simply edit the required information and just simply click on the submit option and the specific information of that client will be updated. Moving forward, we have the deliverables option in which we can see all the deliverables which are required to be delivered on different dates and times and as per their prices and hourly dates as well. The users can simply uh, click on the modify section option and if they want to uh, edit any information of the deliverables, we will just have the sim uh, form appear of the deliverables and the user will sim just simply add in the required information they want to update and click on the submit option and the information will be updated. To add a new deliverable, the user will just simply click on the add deliverable button and a form will appear with the details of the deliverables. The user will just simply add in the required information and click on the submit option and a new deliverable will be added. The users can also download the new CSV uh, files of the deliverables they want to have in the reports. Moving forward, we have the invoices section. Uh, here we have the list of the invoices added in the system. Uh, the users can just track in the invoices against different clients. And uh, the users can also modify the information against different invoices by just simply clicking on, clicking on the modify button and just simply editing the information they want to add it and clicking on the submit button. 
Moving forward, we have an option of adding invoices as well. The users uh, will just simply have to click on the add invoice option to add a new invoice. Fill in the basic and desired information, click on the submit button and a new invoice will be added. That's it for the sales section. Uh, next, we have the appointment section. Uh, we'll just simply look into this one. Uh, for the appointments, we have the same interface as it is for the Google calendars also. The users can schedule appointments against different clients and team members by just simply adding in the participant name. Uh, the emails to whom the schedules um, are going to be sent, the phone numbers, the status of the appointments, the starting time and the end time of the appointments as well. The users will just simply add in uh, the type of the appointment uh, they are being uh, sent to the different kinds of uh, participants. They can be clients, they can be teams as well. We'll just simply add in the basic information form, add the appointment and this appointment will be sent to the email which is being entered. Moving forward, we have the sales team option. In the sales team, we have the list of the team members we have added in our system as per their IDs, their first names their last names, their phones, their emails, their addresses, and the total leads which are being assigned to them. The information of the team members can also be modified by just simply clicking on the modify button and a form will appear with the basic information which is already added. The user can just simply edit the information they want to edit and click on the submit button and the information will be updated against different team members. To add a new sales member, the users will just simply click on the add sales member option and fill in the desired information form and click on the submit button and a new sales member will be added. Moving forward, we have the general settings option. The general settings basically includes the notifications which are going to be sent to, to various uh, clients, leads and team members. The users will just simply have to turn on the notification they want to send, uh, select the notification medium through which they want to notify the team members or the leads, enter in the SMS body, uh, the email subject and the email body and the notification will be sent to the desired notification. So we have different options for notifications. The inbound notifications means the notifications which are going to be sent to the different team members. Once an information is added as uh, per a notification and the notification is turned on and the moment the user click on the save changes option that notification will be sent to all of the team members which are being added in the system the same case is with the notifications which are going to be sent to the leads uh, to the participants and to the, to the clients as well and that wraps up our demo of the crm sales management system built in retool but that's not all. At Petronix, we understand that every business has unique requirements. That's why we offer customization services to tailor this CRM system specifically for your projects. Whether you need additional features, integrations, or specific workflows, we have got you covered. If you are interested in customizing this app for your needs, reach out to us through the contact details in the description below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to our channel for more tech demos and tutorials and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.